you know, one of the crazy things when you do these live Q&As is some of them are very silly. So we got one. Mark, are the allegations true that you are secretly a lizard? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with no on that. Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard. God damn it, Mark. This year, I was lucky enough to go to Electronic Entertainment Expo. In other words, E3. And I had a great time. Mostly great time. I didn't know I was supposed to book things in advance. Which were mostly VR. So I didn't care much because of the way they looked. I like the VR in private. Talking about private things, this exhibitionist had one of the longest lines in front of it. I wanted to yell, hey, if we all get naked, no one would need that VR to see naughty things. Haven't you guys been to Burning Man? But since my accent gets thicker when I'm excited, no one understood me. More than 150 games and a lot of cool gadgets were introduced in E3 this year. But biggest of them all was of course everyone's favorite, Rebecca Black's Infinite Warfare. Yeah, no. It was the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Where in this fantastic area it was open to E3 visitors to play. There was also another game which made gamers very happy. Well, maybe not all of them, but probably the South Park fans. The Fractured Butt Hole, which apparently takes place after what happens in the end of The Stick of Truth, a game I had 15 minutes of patience for. And then there was the real driving simulator Gran Turismo on one side and Forza Horizon on the other. I'm gonna be honest with you, anyone who is into car simulator or ever driven a car knows that all these games are arcade games with great graphics. But if I had to pick one between these two, I'd probably go for Forza because they brought this to the show. Speaking of Horizon, corrupted or not, I got to meet the watcher from Horizon Zero Dawn. And I have to tell you, it has some weird legs. There were lines everywhere. Anything you want to do, there was a line in front of it. And you cannot just go up there and get into the line. You have to book using an app. For example, you have to use this Sony special app to get into the line. So it's already difficult to go to E3. And once you get there, it is almost impossible to get into the line. And I think this is because of how long it takes them to demo things in VR. It is a personal experience. After all, until things become AR, VR is the future. This is what a generation will grow up with. This is what people will do to get away from things. VR is going to make the virtual world much better than the real world. There will be new obsessions, disorders, depressions because of this. Parents will be banning VR glasses at the dinner table, but also people who are stationary will experience amazing things. I mean, how can you ever say no to being in Star Wars, being Superman? You can't. You can't fight VR. Soon these headsets are going to be much smaller, cables will be gone. It will be so normal to see a douchebag with a douchebag hairstyle drinking his douchebag latte in Starbucks wearing the douchebag VR headset. But joking aside, I am very excited about VR and how much it would change our lives. 
And this E3 is a sign of how fast this change. Oh my god, is that Tayson Day? Even though it was very crowded, and even though every inch of E3 was screaming to get your attention, overall the experience was not that tiring. I personally loved being in the same place with so many people that I share the same passion with. Now let me show you some of the cool things I came across in E3. I think this year we'll be hearing a lot about VR headsets, controllers, consoles or PCs that support VR. If you ever get a chance to go to E3, don't hesitate, it is a lot of fun. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and join the world domination. And let me know what you think about E3 in the comment section below. <laughs> and until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and horse chocolate. Ah, oh, okay, I'm coming. Oh. Your food is getting cold. I'm, I'm here. I'm eating it. Let me put some salt in this. Hey. How, how do you do that? You're invisible. I can't see you. Where are you? You want to experience the ultimate reality? Yes, 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 please. How? Then come to the real reality and eat dinner with me. That was almost like you're really here. I'm not on Facebook, so call me.